These videos capture this scary scene. 180, 200 mile an hour wind. As Irma approached the U.S. Virgin Islands. Approaching 200 miles an hour as we speak. Gonna get back inside, debris flying everywhere. Once the eye came past us, then Quite frankly, all hell broke loose. D. Wayne Bridges says the islands his family loves were pummeled. It was very much like an F-5, except that lasts for just a couple of minutes. This lasted for eight or nine hours. He and his wife Linda live in Overland Park, but they have a vacation property on the island. The before and the after. They failed to get out before Irma. Terrifying. It was very scary. It was, it, it, it was was beyond terrifying. They say the airport tower, police station, fire department, hospital, and most homes were all destroyed. And this is very atypical of what you have here. Bridges shot this video several days after Irma, and debris still covers the road. They are going to be out of work. They're going to be out of jobs, out of <laughs> a lot of things for many, many months to come. Tonight, they share their experience so no one forgets about the Americans recovering in the Virgin Islands. And unlike some place like Houston that can draw from Dallas or Austin or San Antonio or Kansas, Chicago, New York, we can't draw from any place else. It's going to have to come from the states. The Red Cross is sending newly trained volunteers to St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands.